Today we're gonna be talking about 10 things that Transit needs in order to succeed. Let's say if Transit was to ever being remastered, these would be the 10 things that I personally would want to see and I'm pretty damn sure you would too. And I really have a feeling that in the future we'll see it being remastered maybe in the next Treyarch game or hey in the next next one. But I really do have a feeling like it will happen one day or another as that is something developers like to do because we love things like that. But hey, we're talking talking about transit and I know complications they will be something that will happen and I can already feel the heat from the comment section from you guys but hey who wouldn't want a remaster right we got DLC 5 of course uh, zombies chronicles got eight remaster zombies maps and uh, they were just oh modern warfare remaster which they kind of effed up later on as some people would say but nonetheless it's uh, more content to enjoy right I personally really enjoyed this map and some of the others like call of the dead and everything like that I feel like transit is unique it has some problems but we're going to be discussing 10 quick fixes to make the map more alive and if there's one thing you like from the list drop its number in the comments and if there's something you want to see that I did not mention let me know in the comments but real quick these are all the homies that actually subscribe to the channel and I really do appreciate it if uh, if you're new to the channel hey make sure to subscribe you do daily videos and live streams and uh, let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but coming in at number 10 we're talking about that damn fog say no more I know how much you hate that damn fog I also hate that too but I quickly want to say there's a video that I may make if you only drop a one in the comments because there was like rumors I mean rumors with proof of course that uh, transit would have got a second version of course at the time transit was released where uh, there would be transit a and transit B with the ending and there would be like no lava on the map and no fog which would have been so sick I gotta be real with you guys so if you guys want to see that video I may make a separate video drop a one in the comments and I may make a video but uh, uh at number 10 we have fog and I, I really do hate the fog but at the same time I kind of like before you go bozo on my ass in the comments uh, let me explain so I don't like the amount of fog there is when you go to that damn farm area because uh, you don't even see shit there are no lights and you're always asking that yourself neighbor am I blind you know what I'm saying that's the feeling I get every time I go to the farm because farm area basically we do not have uh, lava there of course we have lava but when you go when you want to go to the power area uh, but when you're training on the farm area there is no lava and it's a beautiful area if you get what I'm saying but the area is so damn dark that I don't even see a single damn thing like for example if I'm playing with four people and one of them is misty you know what I'm saying right like I want to see that shit but <laughs> I don't even know why I'm talking about that but you get the idea it's dark AF and some people actually like that but that's just a vocal minority but what I'm trying to say here is that I personally like that low amount of fog that there is when you go from bus depot to diner like you got a little bit of fog but then you go in the highway uh, when, when you're at the highway there is no fog and when you leave the highway there's a little bit of fog but of course diner lights can make the area a little bit more visible and you know what's happening and what's going on and shit like that but at the same time it kind of sucks but at the same time this was like released over on PS3 and Xbox 360 as well and at that time it did not have that computing power if you get what I'm saying so that's why they had to add more fog and less textures in those sections if you get what I'm saying because they did not have enough graphical power but if this map is going to be remastered I feel like it's gonna be over on PS4 and maybe over on PS5 I hope that doesn't really soon because like I don't want to go and buy PS5 like now but uh but what I'm trying to say here is that if transit gets a remaster I would like to see no fog or less fog just, just very less less fog at selective areas and there will be like a couple of things that I will mention throughout the video coming in at number nine this is about more guns in sections especially the town section there is no guns of course I'm talking about the transit town in the normal town we do have the mp5 if you want to play the uh, the town alone if you get what I'm saying there would be mp5 like close to juggernaut area but in the transit version like there is no guns and no weapons at all and town areas one of the best 
training area as well. A lot of people like that because Juggernaut is there, the bang system is there. In general, a lot of people like the town area despite the fact there is that damn lava. But if there was a gun or two in the town area, maybe throw some a spicy little MP5 where Juggernaut is would have been damn enough. And if there was like another gun in that map or another gun on the town area, well, it would have been game over. But coming in at number eight, something to do when you're running through that damn fog. Maybe something that would kept that shit alive if you get what I'm saying. Uh, maybe a weapon or two, maybe a special secret weapon that we don't have uh, in normal zombies, like for example the MP7 from Black Ops 2 multiplayer, right? That would have been so lit, dog. Maybe even the SMR. Hey, I'll, I'll be perfectly fine. Maybe some perks here and there, and maybe shorter distances, like for example 20 to 30 percent less distance would have made that a solid map, and uh, would have made that map a little small, so kind of like there would have been more more room so they could have actually add more textures and less fog if you get what I'm saying so 20 to 30 percent shorter distances like you go from bus depot that's a long ass section and if that was like 20 or 30 percent shorter and if all of the sections were 20 to 30 percent shorter in terms of running from the or running through the fog that would have made this map so so good but Coming in at number 7, no lava between sections, like you're running in the fog, I want no damn lava, it's already so hard to see, you got those damn denizens, and especially denizens with fire, like that's a no no, but no lava when you're running through that fog, it just kills that fun factor and you have no idea how many damn times I died because of that. It's like you would get a goddamn denizen on your head and the next thing you know he's on fire and you're on fire and the zombie hits you only once and you have the perma check that you made sure like you made sure you will start a game get hit by zombie a couple of times so they kill you but you get the perma perk if you get what I'm saying and then you actually start another game you get that jug so you got perma jug and you got jug but this actually kills the fun factor and I would also like to have less lava in town as well like I don't care like if there's lava in the middle of the town or not oh, I'm talking about that that area where you have the pack punch machine if you're playing town alone I don't mind if there's lava there but don't put lava where I'm training now coming in at number six this is about being able to teleport wherever the hell you want now I had a lot of ideas uh, so the first idea was like uh, whenever you go to actually create that teleportation hole of course you gotta get that damn denizen on your head but when you actually create that instead of going to a random place which I, I guess to some extent creates that randomness or adds that randomness factor which I am like 50-50 I'm not totally sure I'm not sure how do you feel about that personally but I'm like eh especially when you're playing a map that has a size of transit right so in that regards I'm like eh I don't like that randomness factor but what if the teleporter will give you the option like hey Nibba where you wanna teleport and you actually choose bus depot diner or wherever I guess that would have added a lot of longevity but at the same time it's like I'm not totally sure how that would have been played like having to see all those options on your screen it's gonna be I, I don't know how you feel about that personally I like the idea but at the same time it's not that great but the second idea and I feel like this probably would have been better where you actually create that teleportation hole you actually jump in that and boom you go to the next section of the map you create the teleportation in town you jump in that you land on the bus depot you create one in bus depot you jump in that shit and you land on diner basically it acts like a winter sphere from Revelation like you would jump from map to map right if you get what I'm saying so and I feel like that would have added a lot more longevity to the map but coming in at number five we're talking about that damn turbine that always freaking breaks it's like you put it somewhere you want the pack punch to be open you want to do that you want to do this 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 the next thing you know you have the last zombie with you you have put the turbine behind your back and you're watching the zombie You're like okay so why am I not hearing any sound effect you turn around and boy oh boy the turbine broke and that's not a pleasant feeling and I feel like if you made the turbine that would not get hit by a zombie and that would never break that would have added so much of that replayability 
and a lot of people would actually prefer that. Of course, if you have the shield, then it's alright if the zombie hit it, and it's alright if the zombie breaks that. That's a different story. Shield is a different story, but don't F with my turbine. But coming in at number 4 spot, we're talking about the pack punch machine. Now, I don't know about you, but it's a tedious process. Of course, if you're playing the normal town, then a uh, pack punch machine is right in the middle, if you get what I'm saying. But in transit, you need to actually work hard in order to get that shit open. First of all, you need to actually grenade that freaking bunker or shit like that. Basically, you gotta go to the bank, you gotta open that. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I get to open the uh, the first door just for the bank alone. And what I do is that I would drop my turbine right there and I will go back. And guess what? I have not actually thrown a grenade to open that second door, which just kills that fun factor. And you would have to go back and guess what? Now your turbine actually broke. So you gotta go back to the bus depot, grab a new one and do that shit all over and it's not guaranteed that the pack punch room will be open this time around as well so it's a tedious process now the solution for this is very simple you drop that turbine and it electrocutes that area and it only needs to electrocute it for maybe five seconds or maybe ten seconds let's make it ten seconds right but after that if you go back to the bank area doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you have exploded the wall or not if you go there the pack punch room will be open and it will remain open because the thing is once you leave the the pack punch area for a little bit it's going to shut down and that actually kills that fun factor coming in at number three spot phd flopper needs to be on this map it needs to be somewhere hidden uh, in the fog and that's exactly why I wanted a little bit of fog having fog on the map that actually hides PhD flopper I feel like for the first few runs would have made this map really really good or whenever people would find the PhD flopper I feel like it would have made it so rewarding and I feel like even now if PhD flopper was on this map somewhere hidden in the fog a lot of people would go back and play this map and it wouldn't be classed as the worst map of all time but now coming in at number two spot of course we're talking about that damn jet gun it should have been stronger and it's a complete joke it should have been even better than the thunder gun like this was meant to be thunder gun 2.0 when we actually first saw the teaser or the trailer for the transit and this was like the last couple of seconds or this was like the last uh, clip of that trailer if i if i remember that correctly and jet gun needs to be stronger if this map ever gets remastered and the gameplay you're watching in the background i'm not even sure when was the last time i actually made this thing and when was the last time I actually recorded this thing because this is on PS3 and I don't play it on PS3 anymore and I'm so glad that I have this clip saved on my PC because I don't want to ever go back and uh, make this thing ever but it needs to be buffed it's a complete joke it's ridiculous how bad this thing is but now coming in at number one spot now I'm not sure if you ever heard that saying where uh, when YouTube video lags I don't suffer but when ads buffer I suffer if you get what I'm saying but uh, uh, I don't want denizens on fire like I don't want denizens being on fire that are on my head that actually hurts. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Check out some other videos on the screen by clicking them if you haven't missed any of them. Subscribe if you haven't to be new. And if you did enjoy this video, smash that like button and I'll see you very freaking soon.